Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Happy Sunday. I hope you are having the most fabulous weekend. Um, Lisa and I are once again bringing you our top five seasonal scents from Scentsy. Um, and this is a video that we like to do pretty much every single season. Lisa picks her like top five, six, ten, whatever we decided. Today it's top five. And I'm not cheating this time. I am not adding in any extras. I don't know if Lisa's going to. She might. But I'm not adding in any extras. We agreed to share our top five favorite spring scents from this current catalog as well as our favorite warmer of the spring season. And yeah, we, we love doing this video together. It was supposed to happen in person, however. Um, Lisa has done quite a bit of traveling for work over the last couple of months. Um, and in the fall, I was dealing with my parents' divorce. And so getting together has been a little bit of a struggle for the last few years. I actually have not seen Lisa. I talk to her every single day, but I have not seen her since before the big C word hit the world. So um, yeah, we, however, here's the thing. Uh, we're making this promise to you right now. Um, our video for the summer is we're filming it together because guess who has tickets to fly to Idaho in May? This guy, I'm finally going to go see Lisa. I'm going to go see her beautiful new home, play with the puppies. I'm going to make Sean cook me some food. <laughs> Sean likes to cook, so I'm hopefully he's good with it. But yeah, like I'm really excited to go see Lisa and we are going to be filming our summer pics together. So get ready for that. Anyway, if you are here from Lisa's channel and you're new, thank you so much for taking the time to pop over. Lisa is my best friend. She's been my bestie for a really long time. We um, she's the one that actually introduced me to scent. This is how I got familiar with Lisa is I started buying Scentsy from her and then we just started talking and then we were talking every day and now we still talk every single day. <laughs> um, I value our friendship so much. She really is one of the kindest, most beautiful human beings that I have ever met. Um, if you on my channel have not subscribed to Lisa, she's also going to be her doing her take of this video. Um, it'll be linked in the description box down below. Uh, we decided to, for the spring season, bring you guys five of our top favorites from the current catalog. So these are all things that you can currently pick up. In the past, we've kind of like dipped into our, um, like our clubs and things like that. But for this go around, we both kind of agreed like it might be kind of nice for people to, if they want to try some of these scents, to actually be able to get their hands on them. So we made sure that they were currently available in this catalog or if it's like a, like a limited edition release that it's currently still available on the website. We also are bringing you our favorite spring warmer. I'm curious to see if Lisa and I share any favorites in this particular video. She seems to think that we won't. We never tell each other what we're gonna pick. So anyway, I'm giving you guys my top five spring picks as well as my spring warmer. And Lisa will be doing the same over on her channel. Like I said, check out the description box down below. Lisa will have her video posted. Um, if you already have a Sensi consultant that you are working with, you, you don't have to buy from Lisa. I, if you don't have one, Lisa's amazing. Um, but you can also find a Sensi consultant just by going on to the Sensi website and putting in your, I think your zip code or whatever city you live in. And if you want someone that's like down the street from you or like in the town where you live, it'll pull up those consultants and you can find one that's more local to you. Um, I've never had an issue with like needing someone local to me because I just trust what Lisa Lisa tells me like she knows what I love and this is the thing that I love about her is like she takes the time to actually get to know her customers and then she will learn a lot of their preferences and if you ask her do you think I'm gonna like this she's gonna be honest with you like th this is the one thing that I really have always appreciated about her is sometimes you know Sensi comes up with things that are just kind of questionable in terms of scent <laughs> and she's gonna tell you like if it's if it's weird or bad, she's gonna let you know. So anyway, 
I've got my bars in front of me. I've got my catalog. I have fragrance notes. I've got my warmer. And I'm so excited to share these with you guys. So again, check out Lisa's version in the description box down below. And if you are here from Lisa's channel, once again, thank you. I appreciate you popping over and um, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy some uh, home fragrance content from a nonsensey consultant because I am not a consultant. I, I still buy everything from Lisa. And um, yeah, let's get into it. First of all, we are gonna get started with one of my favorite bars that has been a favorite for a number of years, and it is Aloe Water and Cucumber. Spring for me is the season of renew, refresh, also spring cleaning, like, you know, pretty, pretty typical. And this particular scent is one that I love this time of year because it gets me motivated to deep clean my house. This is so fresh, so clean, but also at the same time, very zen. And I'm not someone who loves housework. I don't mind it. Um, in fact, sometimes when I get into a groove, like I, I actually find it relaxing, but it can, be t it can be tough to get to that point, don't get me wrong. When I pop this into my warmers, I immediately think, oh, this is just so clean. I want my house to reflect this smell. <laughs> just, you know, tidy, no dust, like everything is in its place, um, like a fresh breeze coming through type of situation. This is it, you guys. Let's go through the fragrance notes of aloe water and cucumber. A little catalog here I got from Lisa. <laughs> All right, aloe water and cucumber. So aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. Let me just tell you a little story about the fact that I hate anything pineapple. I don't actually smell pineapple in this at all. This, listen, I don't hate pineapple. I enjoy eating pineapple, but I find that in home fragrance, pineapple always smells super artificial usually. It's just not normally well done. Occasionally it can be, but it's rare. So when I first looked into this one, I was like, oh, there's pineapple. And Lisa was like, no, don't. Just ignore the pineapple. She doesn't smell it either. I think the pineapple maybe adds like the touch of sweetness in this, but this is mostly cucumber, that aloe note, as well as that like palm frond note. Like it's, it's green, it's zen, it's spa-like. I just love this. Like if Sensi ever, this would absolutely go into my club if Sensi decided to retire it at some point. Um, I don't normally have fresh scents in my club. Sorry if you can hear that plane. <laughs> I don't normally have fresh scents in my club, but this is something that I would hands down absolutely put into my club immediately if they decided to do away with it permanently, because there's no way that I could be without it. Um, I love it in the bathrooms and also, like I said, if I'm doing some deep cleaning around the house, I'll pop it into all of the warmers in the house and it really gets me in the mood to clean. Next, raspberry hibiscus tea. I was kind of curious to see if Lisa would include this one, so we're gonna, we're gonna see if she includes it. This is actually a new release from Scentsy for this uh, catalog. Um, so a warm cup of wild raspberry and hibiscus petals sweetened with a spoonful of elderberry sugar. Mm, this is really good. I really like this one, you guys. This is another one that really does, um, it's an interesting mix of like a kind of fresher scent, but also sweet. This is definitely something that has a lot of sweetness to it. So if you are at all averse to fragrances that are a little, I would just avoid this one because it is sweet. That elderberry syrup is definitely something that is noticeable in here. And raspberries just on their own have quite a bit of sweetness to them. Love the raspberry in here. I wouldn't say that it's like the most like authentic raspberry. It's, mm, it's maybe a little bit more of like a candied raspberry. But uh, those hibiscus petals add a beautiful kind of almost borderline tropical floral aspect that's really interesting with the raspberry and the elderberry syrup. I just really have enjoyed this one a lot. 
And this is one that I feel like I can use in any part of the house. There's certain scentsy fragrances where I'm like, oh, this to me is a bedroom scent, or this to me is a bathroom scent, or this to me, it belongs in like the downstairs in the kitchen. This is one where I have had it like all over the house and it's been fabulous. I like this one a lot. Highly, highly recommend. All right, uh, let's get into the like super gourmands, if you will. <laughs> this is strawberry lemon cake. All right, so our notes here are strawberries, lemon zest, and vanilla buttercream. No, oh, it's so good. The lemon zest actually comes across as more of like like a lemon juice like a sweetened lemon juice not necessarily lemonade because it is that more like concentrated lemon oh man that's good <laughs> the strawberry that's in here is quite candied it's it's not the it's not a very authentic strawberry and i don't want to say like not authentic as in like that's bad but there are candied like fruity scents and then there are really authentic fruity scents. This to me falls into that candied strawberry versus like uh, real, like going to the grocery store or if you're someone who, you know, like grows strawberries in your yard or you go strawberry picking in the summer with your kids. Like it doesn't smell like that to me. But I love this. That vanilla buttercream that's in here just, ah. Uh, so good i really like this one a lot if you like the strawberry pound cake from bath and body works i don't think that they're necessarily they're not super similar but i feel like if you like that strawberry pound cake you're probably really going to enjoy this one too so strawberry lemon cake is pick number three and then this bad boy man i have gone through some bars of pink coconut let me tell you i really like this it is not in my club yet but I think I need to put it in there before it goes away because I think I'm gonna be really sad if I can't have this anymore. So this is uh, raspberry, earthy pink clay, which is kind of interesting, creamy coconut and vanilla. And somehow for whatever reason, this to me also comes with like a dash of like a clean fresh laundry detergent note. Lisa has not said that she smells that nobody else has said that they smell that but for my nose just picks up just a hint of like almost like the pink coconut what was it called what was the laundry uh I'm having a brain fart and you guys are witnessing it what <laughs> what was it pink cotton I think it was pink cotton right I feel like I smell like a touch of that pink cotton in here. Mm, it's so good. Sweet, delicious, despite having that laundry note. <laughs> Just really good. Stop it. It's so good. I love this. And you have seen this in my empties for the last couple of months because I just keep, I just keep buying more of it and keep using more of it. It's so good. All right. This one here, I feel a little bad because if you want this, you're either gonna have to put it in your club and wait for it, <laughs> or you're gonna have to buy the Easter bundle, which is, uh, there's violet, I think it's called violet sugar. I have that one in my club too. I have this one in my club, the one, the pink berry fluff. And then also there is the mandarin zest, all three scents, delicious. I don't think you're gonna regret that bundle at all, but if you just wanna try this um, on its own, I think you're gonna have to put it in your club. So. It's already in mine. Um, this is Pinkberry, Marshmallow, and Vanilla Bean. Pretty basic, pretty simple, quite sweet. Um, by the way, I like to pop these out because I feel like I get the most concentrated amount of fragrance like at the bottom of these bars. So I always usually pop them out when I'm smelling them. Yes, stop it, you guys. There's also just the tiniest hint of like, almost like a musk, like a light, clean, white musky note. It's just so pretty. This is such a pretty scent, you guys. This is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Um, and I just, I don't see myself not ever not wanting this. <laughs> And this could also certainly be something that I would warm during this. All of these I would also warm during the summer months. I'll have some different picks for you for the summer, but 
I feel like a lot of these could also like easily lead you into summer. So if you're buying like multiple six packs or whatever, um, I don't think you're gonna like wanna stop using this at the end of spring. It's just really good. Very feminine, very girly. My daughter, she's 11, she loves this one. She actually has a couple cubes of another bar <laughs> in her bedroom. She has the Dream Big Warmer. I think that one is discontinued now. Um, and uh, Lisa actually sent her that one as a gift and Stella absolutely adores that warmer. <laughs> She's like, Lisa's the nicest lady. Why don't you buy me warmers? <laughs> Thanks Lisa for that. <laughs> anyway, let's talk warmers. All right, so I wanted to pick something that again was currently available. Um, we just kind of said pick your favorite spring warmer. So Lisa may pick one that is discontinued. Not me though. I have this. Um, so I just actually recently got this one and oh, it's the flower garden warmer. Have you seen it? First of all, it's absolutely beautiful when it's lit up um, because these, so these little flowers, they're actually like, they look gray, but they're, they're translucent. They look gray because they're on this white surface, but that's because the inside of this is painted gray. So the flowers just kind of look like this beautiful silhouette when the light comes through. This is a 25, oh, I already took the thing off. Sorry, I cut off my things. But this is a 25 watt warmer. Um, it has a clear dish that sits on, is it clear? I think it's actually white. It's a white dish that sits on top. Um, I didn't bring the dish over because it still had um, liquefied wax in it. <laughs> I'm using this in the upstairs of my house. Uh, I have a beautiful little antique looking table right outside of our master bedroom doors. And I have some like faux magnolias on there and I just thought this would look so pretty next to it, um, especially with the vase that I have there. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you guys, if you are in the market for a new springtime warmer, this one is absolutely beautiful. Um, I really do think that these Scentsy warmers are worth it. I do think you can get some really great 25 watt warmers at like Walmart. If you are on a tighter budget, you can certainly purchase the Scentsy wax and use it in your like Better Homes and Gardens or Oak and Rye warmers or whatever warmer you have from like Amazon. Um, I think that Scentsy wax for me works best with 25 watt bulbs. Um, so, a 25 watt warmer from anywhere would definitely get you some great performance out of these. Uh, but this one here, I think just the design of it, how well it's made, this little cutout in the back here for, you know, your cord, um, all of it to me just makes investing in these Scentsy warmers a little bit more worthwhile. They're almost like art pieces. I don't, a lot of the like less expensive warmers that I've had from over the years that I've bought in Fred Meyer or Target or Walmart, like I've gotten rid of all of those. I've donated all of them because I just prefer the look of these in my house. So I don't mind splurging on these, but I don't think you need a Scentsy warmer per se. So anyway, this is my pick for you guys and I love it so much. I just think it's so pretty. I don't know. It almost makes me want to go back to doing flowers full time. I'm a florist taking a break right now um but yeah this almost makes me want to go back to doing flowers there's like some beautiful it uh, looks like maybe there's some lisianthus maybe some poppies um yeah just so pretty anyway all right you guys those are my picks lisa's video like i said will be linked down below in the com in the description box let me know what your top five fragrances are from Scentsy for spring in the comments down below. Let's see what everybody's favorites are. I'm curious about your guys' uh, picks as well, so leave them down below. Once again, if you came over here from Lisa's channel and you feel like a connection with me in any kind of way, I hope you'll take the time to subscribe. If not, just thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.